Hello, my name is Leon Ike, the director of Diotelia Architects, and we are honoured to present the design of the Port Operations Depot on behalf of the Australian and Victorian governments, Colac Otway Shire, the project stakeholders, and the Apollo Bay community. In preparing the design, we acknowledge the Eastern Ma as the traditional custodians of the land and pay our respects to elders past, present and emerging. This presentation will explain how the Port Operations Depot sits within the Apollo Bay Harbour Development Plan, highlight design context, discuss the building siting, present the building's plan, highlight development plan key views and building envelopes, provide overall and detailed views of the proposed building design and present options for the internal finishes of the amenity areas for public consideration. The design for the Port Operations Building is developed from and consistent with the Apollo Bay Harbour Development Plan. The Port Operations Building sits as part of the Central Harbour Precinct identified within the development plan. The new Port Operations Building is required to make way for the creation of the proposed promenade and will flank the proposed upgraded Mother's Beach car park to the southern and western sides. Dear Talia Architects has taken inspiration for the design of the operations building from traditional industrial and marine industrial architecture. This context directly reflects the historical and ongoing use of the building as part of a working harbour. The use of a sawtooth roof form provides a practical benefit, letting natural light spread throughout the building and a historical architectural context. The use of common materials, such as the corrugated iron metal cladding, reflect the nature of the building and is a robust response to the harsh coastal environment. The buildings include simple, easily recognisable forms. The golf maintenance shed is considered as a simple pitched roof not dissimilar to a traditional boat shed. Building elements such as extended eaves and feature structure articulate the building while providing orientation and comprehension. The use of colour within the public zones is intended to be inviting and provide warmth. The public areas of the operations building are proposed to the eastern end and will bookend the proposed promenade and upgraded fisherman's co-op. The depot area will be accessed directly from the Trafalgar Street, operating as a one-way vehicle pathway exiting into the proposed upgraded car park. The new golf maintenance shed is located to the rear of the depot building, running parallel to the adjacent fairway, opening out on the golf course with a service access through the rear depot storage area. The southwestern corner of the proposed port operations building has been set back from the southern and western boundaries to address the sight lines identified by the Apollo Bay Golf Club. The Port Operations Building is made up of three distinct areas. The Port Depot, shown in grey, servicing the operational needs of the port. The Harbour Master's Office and Port Users Facilities, shown in green, are all located on ground level. And the Public area, Amenities Area, shown in blue. The public amenities located to the east end of the building are access, accessed from the forecourt created between the proposed building and Trafalgar Street. The building setback from Trafalgar Street has been increased from that proposed by the development plan, providing better connections to the upgraded car park and the golf course. The proposed public amenities consist of a unisex universal toilet and shower. This area will also contain a nappy change bench and will also serve as a family friendly bathroom and change room. A unisex public amenities featuring seven toilets, including two ambulance and two ambulance shower change room cubicles. The unisex toilet will have a shared open central basin area that will be visible from the proposed forecourt for passive security and include two exits. An outdoor beach shower is also proposed. The views of the Depot operations building presented here replicate those identified as critical within the development plan. The smaller inset views are those presented within the plan and are provided to assist in the understanding and comprehension of the design. 
We have prepared a comparison of the building to the approved building envelopes outlined within the plan. The images presented include an overlay demonstrating how the building sits within this approved envelope. The yellow portion of this envelope is based on the building footprints and the six and eight metre heights identified within the development plan. The red portion of the envelope indicates a one metre extension to accommodate the roof articulation specified by the development plan. These images clearly demonstrate that the proposed building sits comfortably within the established envelopes, with the only elements extending into the red zone being the sawtooth roof over the depot area. These demonstrate the reduced impact of the proposed building achieved through the lowering of the floor level to match that of the car park, the reduction of the eastern end of the building to a single level, and the increased setback from Trafalgar Street. The images clearly indicate the reduced visual impact when viewed from Nelson Street. The images presented on this sheet provide an overall view of the building, starting in the top left hand image and working clockwise. When viewed from Trafalgar Street opposite the new building, when viewed from Trafalgar Street up near Fisherman's Co-op, looking north from within the upgraded Mother's Beach car park, and looking northeast from Nelson Street up near the Apollo Bay Golf Course Clubhouse. These images show some of the proposed detailing of the Port Operations Building. Once again, starting at the top left hand image and working clockwise. They show the Harbour Master's Office Depot Area Entry, the forecourt court and entry of the Public Amenities Area, the detail around the sawtooth roof, and the, and the proposed fencing to the Depot Area and the Car Park Area featuring an undulating timber screening element. Finally, as part of this presentation, we are providing an opportunity to the public to let us know your opinion of the preferred internal finishes for the Public Amenities Area. These images represent the internal partition colour options and wall tiling proposed. We encourage you to go on the Apollo Bay Harbour development website and complete the survey and provide your opinion as to your preferred option. We would like to thank you for your interest in the Apollo Bay Harbour redevelopment and in particular the design of the Port Operations Depot prepared by Dia Architects.